Excuse me? You heard me. No entry without an invitation. This way, please. Why are you taking us here? What the hell are you doing? Nothing. Just disposing of your counterfeit. The imitation is fake. How dare you accuse me? I can easily get you fired. Huh? My father is the manager of this hotel. Fired. Who do you think you are? Miss Caroline asked me to have you two imposters locked in here until the meeting ends. So you better behave and not cause any trouble. Got it? You can't lock us up. Do you know who I am? God, I'll have to beg us for mercy. I sent the text to on the way. What? Nothing. You're just sexy when you're upset. Come on, seriously? Right now? When I'm with you? Yeah. Anytime. Anywhere. Where did you get these? From those two, the bodyguards. Ah, interesting. Is this uh, one of your kinks? Who are you? What happened? Quickly, open this door. Dad, why would you kick me? Because you're a dumbass. Look what you've done. They have fake invitations. I did nothing wrong. Dad. What would you know? These are VIP level invitations, so shut up. Please accept my sincere apology for the misunderstanding and any distress that we've caused you. I'll fire this idiot right away. Now apologize to our esteemed guests. I'm very sorry for everything I did before. Fine, you won't be fired. Now I'm going to need two things from you. Whatever I can do will be our pleasure. As for the second thing, I need you to take care of the girl behind the door. Oh, I never asked you. What's your name? Frederick. Frederick Williams. And there's a rough background check on a guy named Frederick Williams. Investigating me right in front of my face. I underestimated you. Let's go, Hans. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be scared. Looks like that bitch already found herself a new meal ticket. Jesus Christ. Hey, Dad. Caroline, bad news. The winning bid has been changed. It's now open to everyone. What? How, how could this happen? And there's another one. The man from the Rodriguez group declined our request to meet. Oh, shit. Did you somehow piss off the mysterious owner behind the Rodriguez group? No, I, w I would never do that. Ayla caused a huge scene outside just before we came, and this must be her fault. I'll handle it. I... No, I heard everything. We had to change our plan. Ayla. You hit Douglas's mother, and then you offend the Rodriguez's group? You caused the winning bid that was set up for Douglas's company to be gone now. What is wrong with you? This is a very high event put on by Mr. Osman, and you are embarrassing every single person here. Really? Osmond is just an agent hired by my family. I can let him do anything I want. Who do you think you are? How dare you insult Mr. Osmond? Do you have any idea of his reputation in this city? I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> what if Douglas left you for another woman? Embarrassing Mr. Osmond in front of everybody here. You 
You must apologize to him. Apologize. Now! Halo, be smart and apologize now. Why don't you go and ask Osmond if he dares to accept my apologies? Uh, enough. You apologize now or I won't help you. I don't need a scumbag like you to protect me. She was an ungrateful. We'll see if she's so ungrateful and stubborn if you break her legs. Security! Get her out of here. Wait! You two! Over there! Ben Hilding, the sick pervert. He sexually assaulted this hotel employee and locked her in a storage room. And you dare to stand there and accuse me? No. You're talking nonsense. Who are you? What happened? Don't you recognize your own family crest? The evidence is solid. Do you have anything else to say for yourself? Everyone knows my family crest. You're trying to frame me! You're a liar! We trust Ben. Security, what are they still doing here? Get them out! Everyone, please calm down and listen to me. I assure you she's not a liar. I checked her an invitation. No, fuck that. She's just nothing more than an ex-housewife. Nothing more than that. Well, but, I mean, I checked the invitation. It seems Look legitimate. Her. Look at her. Do you actually think that she belongs here? She probably stole that invitation. Yeah, maybe you're right. Shouldn't you verify the name on it first? Ayla, you aren't important enough to double check. Miss, this is a very serious matter. I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police, and I'm going to have to ask you to stay here until they arrive. What? I you needed some help. Mr. Osmond, perhaps I haven't made my proposal compelling enough. Even all your money and company assets combined in sway us. I understand, Mr. Osmond, but after the bidding, could you at least put in a good word for me? Well, you remained loyal all these years, Cliff. Yeah, of course I'm going to put my word in. But as for the result... Osmond, you have ten minutes to get You know, maybe if you beg for it, I'll consider helping you. No, but thanks. Here's suit to my hotel. Head down there and get some rest. I'll take care of them. Or? Not what I'm with you. Well, it. Must be quite exhausting standing up all day. Why don't we sit over here? As you wish, my lady. Get up from there right now, you crazy bitch. I'm not saying it again. Do you even know whose seat that is? You have no right. You're really asking for trouble here. Ayla, seriously, you're just embarrassing yourself, and this is not going to end well. Just look at her sitting up there like she owns the place. What if Mr. Osmond or one of the real bosses sees her? Seriously, get up. That seat is reserved for the boss, not for some unhinged, cast-off housewife like you. Unhinged, cast-off housewife? Is that what you think? Listen, everyone, I'll tell you exactly what this woman's game is. She's just here to get revenge on Douglas and I, after he left her for me. Offending the big shots, causing this scene. She's just trying to drag all of us down with her. I am the big shot here. And as for offense, it is you and Douglas who will pay the price. 